Hi, my name is Adam Neely, and welcome to Excuse Me, Kind Sir, but what the devil is it that you're doing here exactly? I'm here to sort of show you some of my music and the process that went into making it. And the first thing we're going to check out is Sungazer's Sequence Start. Now, Sungazer is a project that I have with Sean Crowder where he improvises drum solos and then I write music on top of them. And what you're hearing right now is the solo that Sean improvised to Sequence Start. And you can kind of hear that it's in the time signature of 2 4 with a quintuplet subdivision. And so I heard this, he sent it over to me, and I thought, okay, well, what kind of bass line can I write for this? Okay, cool. So what Sean was doing is something called quintuplet swing. Now in regular swing, you have the ratio of two to one, where the first eighth note takes two triplets to the second eighth note's one triplet. In quintuplet swing, you have the ratio of three to two, where the first eighth note takes the span of three quintuplets to the second eighth note's two quintuplets. The net result of all of this is kind of a feel that's sort of halfway in between swing and straight, but with kind of a fast quintuplet -y overtone to it all. And Sean really likes this idea, and I really like this idea too, so I decided to write a perpetuum mobile bass line that emphasized all of the quintuplets. Now, perpetuum mobile is a classical term which sort of means you're playing really fast and you're hitting all of the subdivisions. And of course, the most famous perpetuum mobile piece is Flight of the Bumblebee. And so I constructed this bass line using the chords C major 7, A minor 7, E major 7. That sort of repeats over the course of the entire song. Now, I kind of used an idea called a side slip the second time the A minor 7 comes around, which is where uh, you take a chord and you just move it down a half step, and all of a sudden it becomes way jazzier. In order to sort of create the sound of these chords, what I did was I took the transient data of Sean's hi-hat and applied it to a sampler, which spit out me singing to whatever chord was going on at the time. So whenever Sean was hitting the hi-hat, out was coming a choir of me singing, ah, which was changing with the chords. Now once we had all that, I decided it would be cool to take the MIDI data of the bass line that I wrote to the chords that the sampler was spitting out, and also taking a few like little synth melodies and apply it to something called the Disclavier. And what a Disclavier is, is a player piano that takes MIDI information, so MIDI can be applied to an upright acoustic piano. sounds freaking cool and it looks really awesome. Finally, Sean decided that he wanted to record some iPad synth. He has something called Geosynth, which was developed by Jordan Rudess of Dream Theater. And once we added everything together, we had a song. So uh, without any further ado, this is Sungazer's Sequence Start. <laughs> 